What's going on everybody, this is Jamie, and welcome to the channel, Thrift on Fire. And welcome to another video here in February. So far we kept our promise, we've uploaded every single day in February. So today's gonna be a thrift haul video. We're gonna get out, see if we can find anything good. We might deep dive a little bit more than we normally would. I'm just heading into Tilsonburg. Uh, the other thing I have to do is pick my wife's car up. She's had a dash light on for a while. I kind of feel like the code, so this is just me guessing. Uh, she's got like, sort of like a stutter in the ignition um, and every once in a while the light would come on and now the light's staying on the engine light so I kind of feel like it's either spark plugs or wires or something like that I don't know much about vehicles so that's just a shot in the dark that's just because it just doesn't run right sometimes um, it is a uh, 2017 so her car is getting a little older we have the same car I decided to trade mine in last year so I've got the 2023 Elantra um, She's trying to ride this one out until it dies. So we're going to see what's wrong with it, see if we can fix it. Hopefully we can, you know, it's nothing too serious wrong with the car, which I don't think it really is going to be. So we'll see. But uh, hopefully we can find something good here at the Goodwill. Probably try to hit a couple other thrift stores as well and uh, make a little day out of it. Okay, what do we have here? Coach, I think. Yeah, Coach Poppy. Let's do a little more research on this guy, but I think it could be good for $4. Okay, recognize that little symbol. A couple bucks, not bad. Uh, Blitmore, Bitmore, Blitmore? How do you pronounce that? I don't know. We'll throw it in the cart. Okay, North Face, you can never go wrong with a North Face hoodie. Not the best size maybe, but still nice color, great shape. Throw it in the cart. Another one, $11 and change here. North Face Windbreaker, definitely gonna grab this one too. Garfield, he's always my friend. I can relate to Garfield. A little. A little chubby, always hungry. Yeah, he's my buddy. Gonna grab Garfield today. Well, I clearly didn't learn my lesson from the other day because I forgot my GoPro, so I'm still using the phone. So first thing I picked up was this coach purse for $4.29. Now I questioned at first whether I thought it was real, but the pat the batch or patch on the front does look pretty good. Uh, it's got a lot of coach branding on everything else. Uh, and I did look at, look up similars that were selling for, uh, it's all over the place, maybe $30 American, all the way up to maybe 50 bucks. Um, inside it also has a little, I probably can't show you with the camera that I'm holding now, but uh, inside it also does have a little tag that says Coach um, Poppy, which must be like, maybe just like a, a funner or more youthful brand for them. I don't honestly, obviously don't know a whole lot about purses, but still, you know, $4 and change and to probably, probably $30, $40 Canadian, pretty decent. Then next we picked up this hat, a uh, Blit, Blitmore, is that how you say that? I don't really know how to pronounce that to be honest, but Maine, Canada, it's a little straw hat. So I thought it looked interesting, but I did happen to see the, happen to see the little uh, logo on the side and recognized it. So went back, took a look. This is a size medium. I don't know, I, th I think this would probably sell for about 30 bucks. These, they're more known for like um, like cowboy hats or st sort of like fedoras and stuff like that. I don't know about cowboys. It's got a little bit of condition issue right there in the middle, which which uh, I will disclose. But yeah, I think that's pretty good. $2, what was this one? It was really cheap. $2.29 and I think it'll be at least $30 Canadian. All right, it, next, $8.79 we paid for this North Face hoodie. Should catch about 30 bucks, not too bad. This is sort of a bread and butter item for me. I like to pick them up at the Goodwill bins, but I'll still pay, you know, eight or $9 at a thrift store for a hoodie like this. Next, we found this women's North Face uh, sort of windbreaker zip up here. Um, women's size large, very, very nice. Actually, the cashier said, we just put that out this morning. I was hoping to go back and pick it up at lunch. Uh, I did actually say, hey, if you want me, to, I, I can go put it back if you want to take a look at it for yourself. She said, no, no, that's okay. She had lots of jackets. She just thought it was nice. And it certainly is. So for $11.79, I see a sold comp on eBay for about 40 bucks. So I do expect to get about 40 or $50 out of this. And it likely will sell pretty fast. The last item I picked up there was this uh, Garfield. He's a little... Uh, what does it say? 
uh, this never happened to Tiger. I'm sure we can all relate to that because I golf about probably as good as Garfield. <laughs> it was 379. Uh, this one is pause all rights reserved. I did Google lens it, couldn't find it. Thought, hey, maybe no, I don't, I don't, I just, I wasn't really sure. So I kind of tried to do some more research in the store and they're all over the place. There's ones that are, I can't find this exact one, but there's ones that are sell for $16 or some that sell for $80. So I'm going to just try and list mine a little bit higher. I'll do some more research when I get home. And if I can find a comp or even a listed of this guy, I'll throw it up. But I thought for $3.79, I wouldn't mind looking at this guy in my eBay room for a while. I like Garfield. So he was pretty cool. Took a chance on this one. All right, what do we see here? Nice little retro gaming unit, Atari. Very nice, nice, nice. Looks to be good. See another one up here. Might as well grab both, 12 bucks, not bad at all. Looks to be complete. Obviously you have to test these things. Some Converse here. Appear to be leather. I think they're real. Yeah, we'll grab these. Pretty happy with the uh, finds here. Not too bad. So first of all, Atari Flashback 9 Gold. Now, the reason why this one is a little bit better, I think, is because it has HDMI, so it hooks up to a modern TV without any issues. Uh, and it looked like this one sold for like, I'll throw the comp up again if I haven't already, but I think it was about 150 bucks. So pretty happy with that. I will try to list it locally and uh, also obviously on eBay. Now this one was $12 as well, Atari Flashback 6. This one has uh, RCAs, I think just a yellow and a red cable inside. So you do need either, you need to either have RCAs on your actual television or uh, have an older TV, I don't know. So this one's a little more complicated to hook up with modern TVs, but still pretty good, you know, $12. I should be able to get 50 or 60 bucks out of that one. All right, I found these Converse as well. They, are, they say they're leather inside. They look real to me. They were $8, women's size 10. Uh, it's got this little fancy, fancy tag on it as well, but I can't find this exact one, but I can find similar leather ones that sell for about 40 bucks. So I'm going to assume I'm going to get around $40 for them. I did try to look up the code or like the model or SKU number. Didn't pull up anything in particular, but uh, I'm going to clean these ones up. And like I said, probably list them for about 40 bucks. All right, so I'm just going to drop Amanda's car off here to get the diagnostics done on it. So hopefully it's nothing too serious. So instead of waiting at the dealership, I just decided to come down here to the antique mall here in Tilsonburg. It's just literally down the hill, so it wasn't a very far walk or anything. Uh, my buddy, Vintage Holler, he was telling me, I was in here the other day when he was in here, actually, in the in antique mall. He's been trying to redo it, revamp it. So uh, if you get a chance here in Tilsonburg, come check out his booth. He's got a lot of cool stuff, a lot of vintage stuff, a lot of records. So, yeah. Uh, I'll throw a little video up of what the booth looks like now, but uh, he is, I think, redoing it completely. He's got some framing up to redo the walls, and I think it should look pretty cool when he's done. All right, so we made it back to the dealership. Moment of truth. Uh, let's see what's wrong with this thing. Did she let you know? Nobody told okay. me anything yet. All right, I told her I would come and see if I could see it in the lounge because I know you have gone for a walk. Um, so we're just doing spark plugs and uh, fuel induction service. It's got a misfire going on. Yep. Uh, we switched over the coils. It stayed in the same plug, so we know, or same cylinder, so we know it was spark plugs. Okay. So, and they're also pretty carved up and look like they're probably the original there, ones. I there. imagine that's the original yeah. spark plugs, so, yeah. We got that done. Shouldn't take too long. But I said maybe an hour and a half to two hours, but probably, I mean, it's already got plugged up, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, I didn't even realize you were fixing it right now, but that's yep. good. All right. All right. Thanks. No problem. A few hours later. So they wound up putting the new spark plugs in? Mm-hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. well, that's good. That's a total of 685? Yes, correct. Okay. Today? Yep. All right, so long story short there, it cost a few bucks to get the car fixed. Obviously, 685 bucks, almost $700. And then this morning when Amanda went to go to work, she was hoping everything was going to be fine. Uh, everything was fine. Then she stopped to get gas, and the car started acting up again. Um, so it has to go back to the shop. Hopefully they don't charge us any more money. I don't really know what the issue is. Uh, so there's still obviously some kind of issue. They changed the start spark plugs, did a little bit of a tune up. Um, yeah, so the car is not fixed yet. And we're already into it, 685 bucks. I will update you and let you know 
what they do say. But in the meantime, I wanted to end the video with some chat from the Canadian Reseller A group. So the other day I asked the question in the group, hey Canadian resellers, what are your favorite spots to source inventory in Canada, thrift stores, online auctions, something else? Share your details down below. So Leanne says, uh, love the bins, thrift stores uh, that are not overpriced, of course. Uh, online auctions are great. Um, estate sales across the borders have been good for us as well. I've heard that more and more and I live so close to, you know, uh, a couple borders. I could go over to Buffalo, which would be New York, or I could go over to Michigan. Detroit is just right across as well. And there's a few other little borders closer. So yeah, over across in the U.S. for estate sales seems fun to me. Uh, Aaron V, who is a Captain Flip Flops on Instagram, give him a follow. He has a great, uh, he has great content. He shares a lot about himself over there. And I think he has a new YouTube channel again about van van life. Um, I'll link that down below as well because it is pretty interesting. Uh, he says, when I was in NS, which was Nova Scotia, Facebook Marketplace, uh, but now that I'm in Ontario, people want eBay prices for everything. So I get more creative. Kijiji is still... Uh, is still pretty slept on heavily. Uh, haven't been to the bench yet. Bins yet. Hope to go soon. Yeah. So some definitely some good stuff there. Facebook Marketplace is always good. Um, yeah. So definitely, definitely, I should invite uh, Aaron to the bins with me. I think he's not too far. He just moved back to Ontario, so that would be a lot of fun as well. Uh, let's check out who else said something here. Mark Evans said, "Myself, uh, I'm in a small rural town." My town has two small thrift stores. Unfortunately, I don't go to them a lot, but occasionally I get some stuff from them. I've been doing online auctions lately, but has, uh, but it has been either junk or overpriced. Summer is the best for garage sales. Yes, I agree. Summer is the best for yard sales. Um, you know, obviously good. Uh, Matt, right here. So this is this is his page. Actually, we'll throw it up here. Matt, this is Matt Cart. Uh, Goodwill bins. I know he loves the bins. He just moved from Toronto all the way out to, I think he's in Calgary now, or Alberta, I think, anyway. Um, yeah, this summer yard sales are great too. So yeah, also good. I know he's got a lot of yard sale content on his videos as well. Uh, right here we got Janice who says independent thrift stores and auctions. So if you're on Facebook and you'd like to be part of this reseller group, it's called Canadian Reseller A. We talk about all kinds of stuff Canadian reselling related. We talk about sourcing, we share bolos. Uh, we ask general questions like I did here about, you know, how you do things and people just sort of say what they do. It's a lot of fun. If you're just getting into reselling, it's a great place to learn. I personally invited a whole bunch of uh, YouTube, Canadian YouTubers that do reselling online, like on YouTube and on Instagram. Uh, I invited them to be a part of it. And a lot of them accepted. So there's a lot of really knowledgeable people in this group. So please join if you think it would help you in any way and you can be part of the conversation. You can add to the conversation, you can learn from the conversation, but it is really a great place to learn. So, so far I haven't had an issue putting up a video every single day. I think halfway through I could expect to have a little bit of burnout, but other than that, it's been going pretty good. I do kind of do these a couple days in advance and then some of the picking and pulling are over a couple days, which I'm sure you probably noticed anyway. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think it's been really, really good. And I do appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys watching. And if you do like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing for more content as we're trying to hit 3,000 subscribers this month. And we'll see you tomorrow.